Maybe I'm liking this a little bit more than I thought. We're gonna give this a shot here. I've got the, uh, I got the Creighton. <laughs> this is one of the um, vehicles that I don't particularly care for, believe it or not. Um, I know that this is like a beast for a lot of people. I know a lot of people absolutely love this truck, but for some reason for me, I don't know, man. It's just not like, uh, it's just not like one of those RCs that for some strange reason that I have a lot of um, fun with, or I don't know, maybe it's my driving ability, I'm not sure. But anyways, this is the Creighton 6S V5 with one upgrade and that upgrade was necessary because um yeah the thing did not survive my driving or my driving habits now could you chalk it up to what the hell is that it's weird could you chalk it up to um bad driving ability yeah absolutely do i think that's really what it was no the shock tower is the aluminum that they used in the v5 at least mine i don't think that mine's a unicorn it um they just collapsed on regular jumping i wasn't launching the thing you know 500 feet in the air or anything like that i was just regular driving it and the thing just couldn't handle it so let's see if the one modification that i did which is obviously just tossing in an exp shock tower the front has the exp shock tower i think yeah the rear is still black the front, if you can see in there, the front is red. So we'll see, will the rear shock tower bend and maybe not the front? Because both of them bent the way the shocks hit. And that's how I knew that the shock towers were a piece of garbage. Hopefully that's gonna be a fix. I'm over here at a jump spot that I know should, it should cause an issue if there are issues. So let's to keep doing that. So let's check it out. So it is on uh, 6S here. I totally forget all about this truck, man. It, you can see, I, I've driven it. But I'm gonna kinda do some grass driving right now. I guess you could call it grass driving. So, let's see. Grass driving. I got a couple of other things here too. So this is factory stock, except for the fact that I did have to change the servo out. But I want to see how is it going to do on these jumps. This is a nice spot. I took the um, armor granite here. So this should do pretty good. Armor granite was only on 3S. Ah, dude, you're a piece of garbage driver. <laughs> piece of garbage, dude, already. Shouldn't really need that much of a run up. Ooh, that flew actually pretty nice. Will this change my mind? That flew actually pretty nice. Was I just driving it in the wrong spot the whole time? Wow. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I was just driving it in the wrong location. Uh, maybe I'm liking this a little bit more than I thought. Hmm. 
Ah, crap. I think I'm liking this a little bit more than I thought. Damn it. It's actually driving pretty mint. Jesus. Was I the problem the whole time? I don't want to say no, but it's driving pretty stinking mint right now. So granted, this jumping, that jump was bad, dude. See, what I feel like I was doing before in the backyard track. Nothing really high, just kind of like that level kind of jumping. Did I crash? Yes, I did, but the shock tower shouldn't have bent in my opinion. So we'll see, after I do a bunch of these jumps, this is kind of like the only area I can do it because there's all kinds of curbs and stuff that are all right there, but this is the only kind of place that I can do it. So we'll see, um, do the shock towers bend, man, but man, that, that thing's jumping pretty mint. It's definitely totally possible that I'm just a bonehead. One thing I am noticing, my steering seems a little uh, off here. Yeah, you know, I think the servo's garbage. Either that or I have to bump up the, um, I don't know if I can bump up the BEC in this. Oh, <laughs> that was a pretty good jump, man. Oh. Full beans. Even though that was a bad setup, still handle it like a champ. Ah! Almost had it. Full beans! You know, the hero kind of, yeah, I flipped it and I landed it and I got it to self right because I'm awesome. I break the wing. Things jumping mint. Full beans. Dang. I think if I just tighten up that center diff, maybe a touch. Full trigger. Dang. Okay. Yeah, diff is way too, way too open. Full trigger. Beautiful. Full trigger. Dang. Wow. Definitely got to um, tighten up that center diff just for how I like it. Full trigger. Full trigger. Oh, I'm liking it. Maybe I need to go watch some Arma videos to see how they intended for this thing to drive. Cause this seems like it's it. Full trigger. That thing is landing stinking flat. Seems to like to turn to the left 
better than it does the right. Yeah, maybe the servo that I've got in here is just not torquey enough. Because obviously when I'm lifted, it's fast and it cranks. But as soon as I put it down, see how it just doesn't have the strength? So I just need to probably put in a more torquey servo. But damn. Things to admit. Oh. All right, here we go. Full trigger. Ooh, just caught that one. Oh no. Nah, do we have a blown tire? Something's up. Just checking. That seemed like a lot of vibration. That tires feel good. Why is it doing that? That's all right. Nah, something's up. What is it doing, dude? It's like got some crazy, like, vibration. I bend a... See if I bent a... Super amount of vibration right now, I don't know why. My tires are vented. Not loose. Not loose. Or should I say arma arma tight? Uh, you know what? Steering seems wicked loose. I think something's something's loose with the steering. That don't seem right. That seems wicked loose. All right, this thing isn't half bad. It floats wicked nice. Now I think I see why people like these things. Look at the guy with the trigger control. Oh, guy with the trigger control. Oh, full trigger. Ah, <laughs> kind of likes to do like that parachute kind of thing. Full trigger. You know, if I square away that servo. It'll be mint. Did I just literally figure out that uh, Creighton seems all right? So let's go check out the shock towers. I've done a number of jumps that were very similar to what I've already done. As a matter of fact, I've done way more jumps, I think. Let's see if these uh, things here, what the heck is going on here? I gotta answer this phone call. I'll be right back.